Good afternoon, and welcome to the beautiful Dragon Trail Seaside Circuit, located in Croatia. I'm David Fasley, and with me is race commentator Olivia Bowman. On behalf of Motion Media, we want to welcome you here for the first round of the Dreams of Motorsport Touring Car Championship. This official championship is divided into two divisions, and today we will be focusing on Division 2. This season sees the grid consisting of the Viper, Corvette, Jaguar, Lexus, and Mercedes. Teams running for this season are Black Rose Racing, Swan Racing, Diffusion Race Engineering, MSR, Mid Racing, Robo Sport Racing, Scarborough Motorsport, VR and VR2 Racing. Privateer wildcard entries are permitted if the grid has vacancies for that round. Our particular driver focus today is on Squirrel, running the number 18 Swan Racing Dodge Viper. He is partnered with Scott Taylor, the current Endurance Series champion. This is Squirrel's first time running in the Touring Car Championship, and was picked up by Swan Racing as a rookie driver. Today consists of two races. The first is a sprint race of 10 laps commencing at 1 p.m. Second race is the 14-lap feature race from 4.30 p.m., with a pit stop required due to fuel. Today's circuit is 5.2 kilometers long, with 17 turns. Famous for this circuit is the so-called Death Chicane, Turn 16, that has seen the demise of many cars at this track. The track is essentially a triangular shape, but it contains hidden depths that add to its complexity, most notable of which is that it is set on a hillside, and so there are steep incline and decline portions of the track. Also, between the three hairpins that make up the points of the triangle, there are three different styles of chicane that must all be approached differently. This circuit is tight with limited overtaking opportunities. The secret is to gain good exits from corners to propel for the push and overtaking. Conditions for today's race are expected to be cloudy, with no forecast of rain. Ambient temperature is about 24 degrees for the first race, with track temps in the 30s. The Dodge and Chevy are expected to be strong here today. Thanks Olivia. The format for qualifying is reverse grid for the first race, with fastest first for the second race. Weight ballast is in effect for this series and we'll see the faster driver allocated a weight disadvantage after each race. Factor in that heavy damage is present for collisions so we expect to see some interesting results. For this first race of the season, we will see all the drivers on the same weight and the fastest drivers starting at the back in reverse order. Today, Swan Racing achieved a 1-2 in qualifying, with Scotty starting from the back and Squirrel starting second last. Let's tune into the start of the race as it gets underway. The grid is set and awaiting the lights. It's a long run to turn two, and it will be important to take it easy through that corner as it's the first braking zone. The engine notes rise and so does the excitement. It's lights out and away we go. Looks like a good start. Opportunities to overtake early must be taken with reverse grid races. Squirrel has followed some cars through, looking to make up some quick positions. Turn two was good as he exits in P10. Two abreast through turn five. Door left open in turn six, and Squirrel takes advantage and is up to P9. A good run through the S's, we'll see him set up for the run down to the right hander at turn 12. Too wide through turn 11 and the elbows are out. Hi hat Joe is not making it easy. Under brakes, Squirrel gets the job done in his P7, an excellent start to the race. Approaching the tricky part of the circuit, taking the right line is crucial. The death chicane completes these series of corners. Through the chicane cleanly on the first lap, though someone hit the wall behind him, only nine more times to go through there. The 18 Viper is on a mission to hunt down the Corvette of Marty from Scarborough Racing. There's a bit of history between these two teams. It's been known for the team bosses to openly criticize each other in the paddock. Chasing the pack, good time made up on turn six in the purple sector. 
The S's sees contact between the cars, with Gold and Alpine early on the brakes. The contact slows the swan car down, with the momentum lost up the hill. Gold and Alpine misjudges turn 11 and is off the track. He regains. Turn 12 sees the Scarborough car goes wide with dirty tires, and Squirrel draws first blood for Swan Racing, passing to take P6. Wow, a big correction through the death chicane. Still manages a good exit and tucks in behind Ray of VR Racing. Late braking on the last corner sees the job done. P5 for the start of the third lap. Using the slipstream, the Viper is on the tail of the VR Corvette. Turn 2 sees the 18 car up to P4 under late braking, overtaking Tony. With the Scarborough Corvette in front, consistent lines are essential. The circuit looks magnificent today. It's been a great turnout for the fans. We have had full stands for qualifying before the races today. Great to see. And another purple sector. Marty gets past a guy with no skills and is up in second place. Great racing through turn 6. Squirrel's teammate Scotty has worked through the pack after some back luck at the start of the race to currently be in P6. Marty is getting away as Squirrel is held up behind the MSR Viper. It has cost some time. Squirrel Pace could see him with a podium today, barring any incidents. Marty hits the wall at the death chicane. The swan driver smells blood, and Marty relinquishes his position on turn 17. He too. Determined to take his position back, but Scarborough Corvette is all over the back of the Viper. Can Squirrel hold his nerve? This is outstanding racing between the two drivers. Squirrel breaks away and increases the gap. Scotty is up to fourth. Can Squirrel chase down the Jaguar of Mad Mullack, who started in first position? We fast forward the action, with Squirrel on the chase for first place. Scotty has taken third, and currently the Swan cars are set for podium positions. As we commence the final lap, a backmarker exits pit lane. Hopefully the backmarker acknowledges the blue flags and doesn't hold the 18 Viper up. Noticeably backing off under brakes at the bottom of the hill, Squirrel finds himself behind the backmarker, going through the chicane and any chance of P1 evaporates. It's disappointing the back marker didn't get out of the way under blue flags. It definitely hindered any chance of the swan car chasing down P1. Ultimately, as the checkered flag comes down, Squirrel takes P2 and Scotty takes P3 for Swan Racing. An excellent result considering the fact they came from the back of the grid.
Some excellent battles in the race, especially with Scarborough Motorsports. I'm sure Swan Racing Team owner will be happy with those bragging rights. As we look at the leaderboard from Race 1, we see an excellent result from the two Swan drivers, P2 and P3. With a weight disadvantage for both drivers in Race 2, a great result for Scotty to finish in first place. Squirrel places in P4 after a bad start, and battling for most of the race. Overall a great weekend for the Swan team, in Division 2 of the Touring Car Championship. Team leaderboard has Swan racing with a commanding points tally from Round 1 to be at the top of the TC2 table. The driver leaderboard after Round 1, sees Scotty in first place, and Squirrel in second. Overall, a great result from both races for the two drivers from Swan Racing. What an exciting day of racing from Croatia this afternoon. Next round will be at the Tsukuba, in Japan, a track that will definitely challenge the large cars of this championship. Well, that completes our coverage here at the beautiful Dragon Trail Seaside Circuit. We hope you have enjoyed the telecast and we look forward to having you join us for round two. I'm David Fasslake. And I'm Olivia Bowman. Good night. Good night.